Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode for Curtin Biz Bus. Today, we are honored to have Ms. Yit Gai share her views and expertise on the topic time management, being disciplined, and independent in learning. Ms. Gai is an associate lecturer at the Faculty of Business in Curtin University, Malaysia. She has a Master of Taxation and is currently the Discipline Lead for Accounting in the Department of Accounting, Finance and Economics, Curtin, Malaysia. She is also the Chairperson of the Industry Engagement and External Relations Committee. She is truly a multi-talented person. We can say that Kai is a person with many talents and she is an alumni of Curtin University. So she is able to relate with the students that she teaches and is passionate in providing support to all her students. Hello, Kai. Welcome and thank you for joining us today. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for inviting me. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Right. So your topic is on time management. So how to be disciplined and how to be independent in learning. So I personally feel that time management has always been one of the challenges. And not only me, I believe many students are also facing this, even working adults. So generally, many people would struggle with the feeling or the thought of not having enough time, right? So, or not knowing the best way to manage time. So some days, right, I would feel that I wish that I had more time to do the things that I need to do. So from a student's perspective, Time management is very important, especially during the periods um, now where class delivery is slowly transitioning to in-person or we are we call it the hybrid delivery where some are still online, some are still uh, some are back in campus. So I feel that discipline and independence are very highly needed. So this is a very interesting topic. Let's get started. I have listed some questions for you here. So sure. the first questions I have is that why is time management, discipline and independence important for hybrid learning that we're having now? Thank you, Cathy. Okay, first of all, let me share with you. Actually, to me, I don't. it's not just on hybrid learning. Actually, it's through our learning journey as a student and also as long as in the future when we step into the society at work, it's very important for us to practice self-discipline and time management. Actually, to stay to have self-discipline it will help us to stay focused for our goals it will help us to concentrate not to easily to be distracted by other things so when we have self-discipline it is always easier for us to achieve our goals because we will focus on what we need to do we will tell ourselves that okay from now we need to do this and we need to be perseverance we need to be determined stay to let ourselves to be disciplined to work through the goals and also actually throughout this as you said just now actually it's a transitioning period from face to face but due to the covid pandemic we slowly switch to high online learning and now we're back to hybrid it's like some students who are in malaysia they can come back for face to face but some students who are in other countries or international students they will still need to remain for online learning so it is very important for all of us to practice our self-discipline because actually self-discipline is an attitude this attitude will affect i should not say affect this attitude that you will influence one another in the classroom when students are disciplined student when, when, when our lecturer look at the student they are so disciplined we feel motivated we also will be more dedicated to teach because we, we look at the student to be so disciplined we want to teach them well we want to provide them with the knowledge well when the teacher when the lecturers are so dedicated and when the student they stay so disciplined in such a way all of us can learn in a very effective and supportive environment. So I think that um, it's very important for students nowadays to have this kind of attitude. What attitude? The attitude is to stay disciplined, to set our goal, to work through it. Thank you, Kai. I like what you said about um, them having to be um, a good influence or positive influence. And it is a good attitude to have, staying focused. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, now my next question for you is, based on your observations, what are some of the main challenges faced by students when it comes to time management, especially now that you know they have transitioned from 
um, online and now we are going into hybrid. So in terms of um, behavioral um, challenges instead of technical aspects. Mm, okay, as you actually, I read some articles uh, in recent years. Okay, um, a lot of psychologists they have proved they have already proved and claims that okay, a student a student attention span is only ten to fifteen minutes in a physical lecture. Okay, listen, that is a physical lecture. So the attention span is only 10 to 15 minutes. But just now we say we are now having hybrid learning. Can we expect our student to have at least 15 minutes attention? Um, I fear not. Okay, so what I would say actually back to my topic just now. So that's why I say it's very important. You have the self-discipline. So you know that, okay, this is the class I need to attend today. This is something that I need to work through it, okay, in my university life. So no matter what, no matter what challenge you face, you stay disciplined, stay focused and work through it. Thank you. Thank you very much for your encouragement. Now, my next question is, would you think that the use of technology helps students in having better time management, for example, using apps, um, software, devices and so on? This is a good question. To me, this answer is yes and no. It depends on individuals, actually. Perhaps I'm the older generation, so I'm not very good at some apps or something. So um, I use the very traditional way, actually, for myself. Okay, I use a diary, a planner. Okay, actually, recently I just got a very nice a very nice planner looks like this okay so i plan my activities for the whole week so at least you plan my, my advice to the student is that maybe i don't know maybe you need an technology or very advanced apps that you can set your activity but to me i use a very traditional way i use my my use my diary planner um i plan for my activity for at least a week ahead so i know that what i need to do for the coming week i prioritize my work so i know that okay this is my deadline on friday and there's another deadline on the coming monday and so on so in my mind so at least i know what i need to do in the in the next few days so i think that would help you to stay disciplined and also that will help you to catch your deadline i think it's very important you always plan ahead and organize ourselves that's great, Kai, and you have just inspired me to get a very nice planner as well because I'm planning to do that also. <laughs> okay, so um, we have actually come to our last question for you today. So what tips or strategies do you have to students on becoming more disciplined and independent during the learning process? Actually, my advice or, or what tips I would say is that I set my own, I set my own goal. So I set my own goal. I set my own target. This sound like so. This sound like so common, and it's like oh, so 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 interested, and not not like not something that is like oh, just set a goal. It's like so easy to say so. But actually, when you think of it, okay, you try to achieve something. You set yourself in in mind that you need to get this, okay. So I think just like our childhood time, okay, like your parents tell you, okay. Um, if you get one, if you get full marks for this test, and I will buy you a, a car, or I, buy, I mean like a toy, I will buy you a doll, or I will buy you a Lego or something. So actually, the same apply to us nowadays. Actually, even to our adults. Okay, so we tell ourselves, okay, when I achieve this this year, um, I want to get something, or if I achieve this this year, then I will go um this this place for a short vacation, for a short holiday. The same for the student. You set yourself a goal. You tell yourself in this university life, you need to achieve at least maybe a high distinction or maybe too much, you say at least a distinction for one of my accounting unit. So the truth, the whole semester, you set your goal, you tell yourself, you need to work towards this goal. Okay, actually in our life, not only during your university, even in the work, even at your work, in the future, it's very important you set a target in your life so that you will keep improving yourself, you will keep working hard for it. So that would be my tips. I think that's great. You know, it's always good to be reminded that the key is really, like what you said, it's simple, but that is the key to set mm, a goal and true. to stay focused. That's really, we start from there. Right. So, Kai, thank you so much for your sharing. It's been wonderful here having you on our show today. It's our pleasure. And um, I hope to work with you again in the near future. Sure. We have definitely. come to the end of our program. 
Thank you for watching. Thanks, Cathy. See you.